Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Turning Point 5 software to set up self-paced polling. Self-paced polling allows students to take a quiz or task through Turning Point with their clickers. Be sure to plug in the RF receiver before starting. To begin, click on Turning Point from the desktop. Click on the Pulling tab in the Turning Point dashboard. In the upper left side of the dashboard, click on the participant list you wish to use. In the lower left side of the dashboard, click on the question list you wish to use. Click on the self-paced polling located on the right side of the dashboard. Information about the chosen question is shown on the left and the participant information is shown on the right. Click on the Accept Logins icon located on the left side of the toolbar. Click in the Participant Login pull-down menu. If students are already registered, then choose the Off option. If you wish to have responses of only those students present, choose a second option from the pull-down list. A message will appear at the start of the test asking the students to enter their user ID. The device number will be visible to the test monitor. The third option from the pull-down list clears the previous user ID on the card and asks the user to enter a new one. The device number will still be visible to the test monitor. For time limit, choose the duration in hours and minutes or set an end time. From the complete test message pull-down menu, you have four options. You can show the grade with the point total, the grade with the percentage, the grade with the point total and percentage, and a custom message which you can enter in the text box. You can also have the student be prompted before displaying the message. When you are finished, click the OK button. To start polling, click on the green arrow in the upper left corner. Clicking on the live test results, the test monitor can view how students are doing. The timer, live results, and preferences are also available in the tools menu. When a student sends a message to the test monitor, an exclamation point appears in the messaging icon. Click on it to see the message. This student says, help. You can clear the history of the text messaging by clicking on the Clear History button. When you are ready to stop polling, click on the Stop Polling button. Click Save to save the session results. In the file name, you can keep the name that is given or put in your own name. And make sure you click Save. Click on the upper right hand corner on the X. At this point the Manage tab opens and you can view the reports. If you do not wish to review the reports at this time, you can close out of Turning Point. To review, once you are in self-paced polling, click on Accept Logins icon and choose the desired options. Click OK and begin the test by clicking on the self-polling arrow button. Click on View Live Results to view student progress. Click Stop Polling once all the results are received. Save the session and either close the application or view the reports in the Manage tab. This concludes the tutorial on using Turning Point 5 software to set up self-paced polling. Thank you for your time.